measures of relative position in the previous lesson you have learned that median divides a data set into two equal parts so in this lesson we'll be talking about other measures wherein it divides the data set in to 100 equal parts and we call it as percentiles or centiles so as you can see we have uh, symbols there we use the uh, capital letter p that is for percentile so if we say p sub 1 that means the first percentile and then uh, for example you have seen a symbol of p sub 6 so that means the 6th percentile until uh, p sub 100 that means that means it is the 100th percentile okay and then another measure is the deciles it divides the data set into 10 equal parts and so if we say d sub 5 that means the fifth decile if you have d sub 9 that means the ninth decile okay so another measure we have quartiles if we say quartiles it divides the data sets into four equal parts and so if we have q sub 3 that means you are referring to the third quartile if you have the symbol q sub 2 that means you are referring to the second quartile okay so uh, let me share this um, equivalent values for quartile and percentile okay so let us consider this line wherein it has 100 units okay so we are referring to quartiles so we are going to divide this line into four equal parts now if a hundred units is divided into four equal parts that means that each part will have 25 units and that is why for the first part we are going to call it the Q sub 1 or the first quarter, it has a 25 units. And then, as you can see above, Q sub 1 or the first quartile is simply equal to P sub 25 or the 25th percentile. Now, if we are going to look at the second part, what we are going to expect it is that it has a 50 units that is why q sub 2 is equal to p sub 50 and then for the third quartile it should have 75 units and that is why q sub 3 is equal to 75 p 75 and the same case for this side so if a number line has 100 units you are going to divide it into 10 equal parts so each part should have 10 units so for the first part we call it as d sub 1 it is equal to p sub 10 the second d style is equal to p sub 20 and then the third d style is equal to p sub 30 until d sub 10 is equal to p sub 100 okay so now let us focus on how to compute for the percentiles quartiles and deciles for and group data okay first we have to consider this following steps first we need to arrange the scores in ascending order that means from lowest to highest second find the position of the given percentile in the distribution using the formula p multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 100 where p is the given percent and n is the number of cases third you need to locate the score corresponding to the obtained position and that is the value that you have obtained in the second step okay and the fourth interpolate 
to get the score if the obtained position from step 2 is not exact. That means the value that you have obtained in the third step is in decimal. It has decimal places. Okay. So, for us to understand those steps, let us have this example. First example, you are told to find the 20th percentile or P sub 20 of the following scores. So, let us say, these are the scores of students in an exam. Okay, so... Please observe the scores. It is given as 22, 25, 8, 6, 5, 17, 12, 20, and 16. Now, so to solve the 20th percentile, we need to arrange the data first from lowest to highest. Okay, please double check if it is arranged correctly. The second step is we need to determine the position using this formula p multiplied by n plus 1 is equals to 100 now what is the value for p p is just the desired percentile so ano ba yung tinatanong p sub 20 or the 20th percentile so that is why under p you have there the value 20. And then N, N is just the number of scores. So, kung balikan nyo yung slide, previous slide, i-count nyo kung ilan lahat ang mga scores na ibinigay. So, there are 9. So, to solve, perform per first the values inside the parentheses. So, that is 9 plus 1. 10 multiplied by 20, so that is 200 divided by 100, so it gives us a value of 2. So, ano ba yung uh, ibig sabihin ni 2? Since for this step, ang dinetermine natin is the position, meaning 2 is the second value. Meaning, we have to look for the second value of the given day. Okay? So, here, locate down natin yung second score from lowest to highest. So, ano yung second na score? That is number 6. Okay, so meaning, number 6 is the 20th percentile or the P sub 20 is equal to 6. Okay, so aside from that, pwede natin sabihin na uh, this means that 20% of the students scored below 6 and 80% of the students scored above 6 and above. Okay? So, another example. Find the 60th percentile or P sub 60 of the following scores. Okay, these are the scores, 95, 99, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 75. Take note, hindi pa yan naka-arrange from lowest to highest. Okay, so for the first step, since hindi naka-arrange, so you have to arrange it from lowest to highest and then determine the position using the formula. So substitute 60 to P, since our desired percentile is 60. And then N is 7, since i-count nyo ilan lahat yung mga scores, there are 7. So, 7 plus 1, since yan yung nasa loob ng parentheses, that is 8, multiplied by 60, you have 480. Divided by 100, that is 4.8. Okay. So, diba, in this step, Yung dinetermine natin is the position. But then, you obtain a decimal number. A number which has a decimal, one decimal place. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Okay, na-mention yan kanina na you have to interpolate. So, paano ba gagawin si interpolate? Okay, before tayo magpunta sa next slide, tandaan, yung value na nakuha natin is 4.8. So, 
to interpolate, yung value na nakuha natin is 4.8. That means, that is between the 4th and the 5th score. So, ano ba yung 4th and 5th score? That is 75 and 80. Okay? So, as you can see, the 4th step, step, it says, solve the difference between these two scores. So, ang gawin lang natin ay, i-minus si 80 minus 75, that gives us 5. So, tingnan lang natin kung ano ba yung difference ng 4th and 5th score. So, meron na tayong difference, which is 5. After that one, that 5, which is the difference, will be multiplied by the decimal part obtained in the, it should not be step 1, in the second step, which is point 0.8. Okay? So, point 0.8 multiplied by 5, which is the difference, that gives us a product of 4. Okay? So, Ibalikan ko lang yung answer ni 80 minus 75 ay i-multiply doon sa decimal na nakuha natin sa second part. So, 5 times 0.8, that is... Okay. The next is, you have to add this product to the lower score or the fourth score, which is 75. Okay, so ano ba yung product na nakuha na to, that natin? That is 4. So, the lower score is 75 plus 4. So, your 60th percentile is 79. This means that 60% of the students scored below 79. Or, aside from that, you can also say that 40% of the students scored 79 and above. Okay, we'll have another example. So, in this example, you are told to find the 10th decile or 10th decile, this is equivalent to P sub 100. For the following scores, 95, 99, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 75. So, the first step, you need to arrange the scores from lowest to highest. And then, find the position using the same formula, P times N plus 1. So, our P, again... Ano ba yung value ni P? Tandaan na si D sub 10 is equal to P sub 100. So, meaning, our P is 100. Okay? So, look at the values inside the parentheses. You have 7. Saan ba kinuha yung 7? 7 is just the number of scores given. So, 7 plus 1, that is 8, multiplied by 100. So, you have 800 divided by 100. So, you have 8. So, 8, this means the D sub 10 is the 8th value of the given scores. Okay? 8 value daw. Pangwalo na value. Pangwalo na score. The value that we have obtained in the previous step is 8. So, that means we have to consider the 8th value. But, as you can see, we only have 7 scores or 7 values. So, how are we going to determine the 8th value? Okay. You are going to obtain the 8th value by... Adding 0.5 to the highest value. So, meaning, P sub 100 is equal to, what is the highest value? That is 99 plus 0.5. So, your P sub 100 is equal to 99.5. So, what does it mean? It means that all of them scored below 99.5. 
5. In the fourth example, we are told to find the third quartile or Q sub 3 of the following scores. First, we have to arrange it from lowest to highest and then use this formula to find the position of the third quartile. So, since yung formula is P multiplied by N plus 1, so ano man yung P, you have to uh, think of ano yung equivalent ni Q sub 3 in percentile. So, Q sub 3 or the third quartile is equivalent to P is equal to P sub 75. So, that is why we have here 75 and then your N is 7 it is because you have 7 scores. So, 7 plus 1 that is 8 multiplied by 75 that is 600 divided by 100 so you have 6. So, the position is 6. That means uh, the third quartile is the sixth score or the sixth value. Okay? So, going back to the given scores, please locate what is the sixth score. So, the sixth score is 95. So, meaning the third quartile is or the Q sub 3 is 95. So, how are we going to interpret it? This means that 75% of the students scored below 95. Or, you can say that 25% of the students scored 95 and above.